with a couple of uncontrolled left turns to see how it handles this. Now turn left onto Plum Canyon Road. There's no one behind me, so I can give this a few minutes. Well, hopefully not that long, but a little bit of time to figure this out. I've got one car, two cars coming from the left. I've got a few cars coming from the right. Okay, more coming from the left. It's creeping out to get a visibility. It should stop here so that he is that he or she can make the turn. Okay. After them, it's clear to the left and it's clear to the right shortly. Two cars to go. It can go now. Wow, a little hesitant, but it can make it. There's a car coming, but it's way out there. Not bad. Zero intervention on that uncontrolled left. It did really well. Nice acceleration. It's actually going above my set speed. I never touched the accelerator. I set that one in actually. That's a first. I've never seen it go that much over. Okay, it should get over here. Okay, it's getting over, but it missed the entry there, but it's fine. Right turn on the advanced green, very smooth. Really nice acceleration. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto the other lane. I want to see if it goes over. It's not going to have time. We have to make it right pretty quick here. Now turn right onto Signal the other lane. Signal's early, so people behind me know I'm going to make a turn. Nice deceleration. Let's see how it does this little neighborhood because this is an interesting little test case too. Now turn left onto Saxima Circle. Saxima Circle. Okay. Quick now left. turn left onto Clementine Drive. Okay. Now let's head back to our start point. Oh, too fast, too fast. In Slow 500 down. feet, turn right onto Saxima Circle. Okay. Nice, it's not, it didn't stop. Excellent, nice, smooth. It should get over to the right. It's a little too far left, but it's better than it was. Nice, nice, smooth turn to the right, no stop. That's improved. Garbage cans, it's picking up. It's, it's, let's seize the human. Let's see what we do here. Now turn right onto Satsuma Circle. It's trying to pot, plan a path around the human. giving him some time and space, which is fine. No one's coming from the left. There we go. Wow. Definitely improved navigation of this little area, this uh, neighborhood here. Now turn right onto Detter Lane. Still a little far left here, but it's better. Here comes an oncoming car as well, which is excellent. Let's see, good, okay. Nice, it's making a decision to proceed quickly here. <laughs> Very well done. Okay, now this is the challenge. This left, oops, I gotta resume my speed that I had. This left turn is a challenge. I've always had to authorize it through this left turn. turn left onto Golden Valley There's Road. this white picket fence on both sides and it's going all the way to the right in this lane. Oh, it's probably for an angle. Oh, maybe not. Okay, it's clear. Okay, I got a car coming from the left and here it is. Use accelerator pedal to confirm. So it still won't make this decision on its own. Okay, I've got a, one more car from the left, and it's clear to the right, and I'll tell it to go now. There. I just gave it an accelerator tap so it does the rest itself. There we go. I'm just going to send that one in. Okay, this, this left, let's see if it stays in the right left turn lane. Usually it always gets in the left turn lane and then has to immediately get into the right. This is saying it thinks it only has one lane. Yeah, it's getting the left turn lane. I mean, it always makes it, but. Very nice left turn. Immediate into the right lane. And now let's see if it gets into this right lane to turn on to Via Joyce Drive. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Via Joyce Drive. Got lots of space behind me so I can let this play out for a few seconds. Now turn 
turn right onto Fine Joyce Drive. Come on, get over. It's going just a little late, but it did it. There we go. I didn't have to intervene on that one except to accept, uh, authorize it through on that left turn. Well done.